Is there anything cooler than a ninja? Maybe a pirate? No. Highly skilled badasses designed to take you out, making you bleed your own blood without breaking a sweat is what they do best. Let's get this out of the way right now. Dragon Ball Z characters, they're not ninjas. These are the top silent and not so silent assassins that just wreak rad while delivering a throwing star to the chest. Hey, I'm Stuttering Craig. And I'm Handsome Tom. For Screw Attacks, top 10 ninjas. Damn. Hitting you with a ton of hits is important, but hitting you with a ton of hits and making it look cool is even more important in Killer Instinct. Jago will beat your ass and scream at you and make you feel good about it because it looks so pretty. Jago also takes on all comers, werewolves, crazy mind chicks, dudes made of ice, and even himself. The biggest selling point for Jago, his glowing sword and ability to shoot an ecto beam from his hand. Number nine. Thomas and Kung Fu may not be your stereotypical ninja. I mean, he doesn't wear a mask, doesn't dress in black, and his move list, it's fairly limited. But you know what? He doesn't need to be. He knew his girlfriend was kidnapped, and he said, fuck it, I'm gonna bust through that front door and beat all their asses. So powerful, he could take out fleets of men with just a punch. Thomas also had an incredible breakdancing ability and was not afraid to punch a man in the nuts, or a midget, in the face. Number eight. Once very high on the Sega totem pole, Shinobi was an arcade classic. Nowadays though, Ninja Joe is just another dude in the video game world, but this ninja makes the list purely off reputation. Sure there was a new Shinobi game on the PS2, but it didn't feature Joe, and it didn't have the same story, it had something crappy about a sword that nobody cared about. In the original Shinobi, Joe was doing the right thing and stopping bad dudes from kidnapping kids. That's awesome. And very ninja-like. Number 7 Nothing says ninja honor like humping the ground like it's a geisha. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Goman's mystical ninja skills included beating the hell out of you with a yo-yo. Yeah. A yo-yo. Can you name another ninja that beats the hell out of people with a yo-yo? I didn't think so. Katak! Although he did lose some points in the awesome area when he had to collect cats as power-ups. What's up with that? Number six. Sometimes size just doesn't matter, and this little bastard is proof. He actually killed his mentor. Master, you're dead. This pint-sized professor of death has some serious attitude, can run off walls, and has some crazy accuracy with his chain. Super deformed, but crazy fun. I ninja's rage is what held him back from getting a higher spot. Number five. The world of Mortal Kombat has been diluted so bad by countless characters, I don't even know who these people are. Who the hell is this dude? That's, uh, I actually made that character. That's a creative character, dude. Ah, that character sucks. Toasty! Regardless, there have been two consistent figures that all MK fans know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Both have signature moves and great things about them, but since we have to choose just one, we have to go with the Chief of Chill. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero has appeared in every MK game. But not Special Forces. And was the first MK character to get his own game. Even though it sucked. But what really made him cool was that if he didn't like it, he'd rip your freaking head off. Number four. You know, I don't know who deserves to be on the list more. Strider or his sword. Either way, this dude definitely has all the skills to be a top-notch ninja man. He's fast, has the aerial stuff down, and has complete control of his surroundings. So much so, the futuristic sword wheeler has control of metal tigers. You can't say that about Sub-Zero. One wrong move around this guy, and he'll hack and slash you so fast you'll explode. Yeah, explode. Number three. Some of the greatest characters of all time, Leo, Mike, Don, and Rath, made ninjas awesome when they came to America. The person behind some of the greatest beat-em-ups in history, not only do they know how to be silent but deadly, but they also have a good time and grab a slice. The Ninja Turtles gracefully have combined 20 years of honing their skills with street smarts and skateboarding. Number two. Sometimes you don't need to talk, you just need to walk. Let's get the ninja recap going before we get to number one. 
Number 10. Number 9. Number 8. Number 7. Number 6. Number 5. Number 4. Number 3. Number 2. It's number 1. This superhuman freak throws fireballs, flies, and can cut a plane in half. That's awesome. Ryu Hayabusa has sword skills, nunchuck skills, decapitation skills, and pretty much any ninja skill you would ever want. You know, not to mention the old school NES titles are awesome, and the compilation SNES game still goes for a crap ton on eBay. Ryu has such power, grace, and skill, he literally has the title of Super Ninja. He's such a great ninja, my dog's name's Ryu. Dude, that is absolutely awesome. High five. <laughs>